In section 4.1, problem number 5, we're given the differential equation dy dx plus ky equal to x s x, where k and s are just arbitrary constants. And rest to, if we let t equal the second derivative of y with respect to x, rest to rewrite this, or to write a differential equation uh, in terms of t and x by taking the second derivative of both sides of this equation. So if we take the second derivative, we get um, the third derivative of y with respect to x, which is the same as the first derivative of t with respect to x. So we end up with dt dx plus k. Now, the second derivative of y with respect to x is what we define t to be, uh, plus kt. And once we take the second derivative of the right-hand side, we just end up with 0, since the second derivative of S, sx is just equal to 0. So we see that our differential equation is dt dx plus kt is equal to 0, or equivalently, maybe a little more convenient to write it, it's dt dx is equal to minus kt. So now part b asks us to solve this differential equation for, um, for t, and for the general solution of t in terms of x. Now whenever we have, uh, here I'll rewrite the equation up here, dt dx is equal to minus kt. Now we have a theorem in the preceding chapter that says that um, the general solution of this equation would be t is equal to um, c times e to the, they don't want to use k, let's just, for the moment use um, about alpha t, where alpha is just some constant. Now, in order to find out what that constant is, we can take the derivative of t with respect to x. Oh, excuse me, this should be x, not t up here. Uh, we take the derivative of t with respect to x. So give us alpha of c is equal to alpha x. And we see that um, uh, this quantity here has to equal minus kt. So we see that um, our general solution, oh, hold on. right, but this quantity here itself is t. So we see that our alpha actually must be equal to minus k. So it means the general solution is t equals c e to the minus k x. Now, part C asks, uh, asks us to find constants such that this given equation here is a solution to the original differential equation that we had. Now, the way that I'm going to do that is just write down the original differ differential equation, which is dy dx is equal to sx minus ky. Here I'm just rearranging it a little bit. And then I'm going to find constants such that this equation is a solution, so I'm just going to write the derivative of y with respect to x again, just using this. So this will be equal to 1 over k times the derivative of t with respect to x plus, I'll take the derivative of the next term with respect to x, leaves us with a, and the third term is constant, so that goes to 0. And now we can use this uh, information here to solve for s and k. Or, excuse me, solve for a and b. So we know that dt dx is equal to minus kt. So this is going to equal... Um, right here. So it'll equal 1 over k times minus kt plus a. 
And right here we know that y is equal to t over k plus ax plus b. So we get sx minus k times t over k plus ax plus b. And now I believe we should be able to solve for the unknown quantities. If we simplify, we get sx. Uh, k's cancel out here in the first term. So we have minus t minus uh, akx minus kb. That'll be equal to minus t plus a. And we see we have minus t on both sides of the equation, so we can cancel that out. And collecting our terms together and putting everything on one side, we see that we have s minus a k x uh, plus we're going to have minus k, so we'll have minus actually kb minus a is equal to zero. 